in brief, uh, uh, please, I would like you to uh, uh, tell us uh, more about the influence of uh, education on fees and conflict in our communities, most especially here in Zamfara. Well, I had always tried to explain that education is life itself. So there's no way you can get anything done without education. If you do it, you expect the consequences to go one way you may not like. So in Zamfara State, our well, main major challenge at the moment is insecurity. It caused so many things, close our schools, markets, what have you. So my feeling is that if we really want to solve some of our social or societal problems, we should go by education first and foremost. Other things, poverty, liberation, what other things can be solved through education. That's what we have been trying to sell to the government, and that we will continue to try to sell to the government and the people. Yeah. That's very good. Okay, sir. Uh, 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 before we, I want to, to, to emphasize uh, more on the call on the parents uh, to prioritize, uh, I think, uh, the girl child education in Zafar. Well, Damhara, that we, I don't think uh, the issue of girl child education has been an, a major issue. Why? Because uh, girls finish school, those that actually have the opportunity to go to school, they even hardly get a chance to go beyond primary schools. And that is an, an aspect, I think, for another question. But girls' education is basic because girls are tomorrow's mothers. And they reflect the knowledge they acquire through the generation that come after them. That is why girls' education is so basic and developmental in building a very literate and sensible society. So we are trying our best. And I must tell you that uh, the statistics are showing that though we have been behind in girls' education, we have got uh, the, uh, the indices going up and up and up we have just been, we just had a stop because of the insecurity. Okay. Uh, lastly, I think, uh, what call uh, do you have uh, for the youth, especially, to be uh, advocacy of peace in Zamfara? Well, I will advise youth to take to peace. Take to peaceful means. Find jobs to do. Get a skill. Then we'll have no reason to cause trouble because you'll be engaged and you have something to do to support your life. But once you are idle, you are a young man or a young lady. You have many demands of life, which you will have to satisfy, foul or fair. So my advice is get yourself an education. And education means a skill that will give you life support. That's my advice to the youth. OK. Uh, as a chairman, uh, SBMC committee, <coughs> uh, NIM Foundation uh, is trying to engage uh, the school children in Zamfara State. So in what ways uh, do you think uh, this is the best opportunity that maybe we can uh, collaborate with uh, the SBMC to kickstart that uh, program? Oh, we'll be extremely grateful if NIM will come to collaborate with us in uh, peace building in schools, especially awareness. Uh, what has been the problem is that uh, children or even adults are not made aware on how best to react or how to feel psychologically to live with insecurity. So when there is any event coming, people behave in panic and behave with hard mentality, with no coordinated action. So uh, what we have been trying to do is to get uh, the children, the teachers, and even the immediate community to get tuned to the idea of living with insecurity. We don't know when it is going to end. So we have to pre ourselves, prepare ourselves on how to react when it happens. Uh, what's happening in Bernou is enough lesson. It has been going on for over a decade. So I wish our own is not going to extend that much. We don't pray for that. But let's prepare our own children, our own teachers, and the surrounding immediate community on how to react. And we can do it. Thank you so much. Thank you.